Hello everybody, this is Christian and this is Fusion 360 on my computer and today we are doing a little bit of a Facebook question there was a question on placing nubs on this face here and only on the face, not outside or, or like covering the edge or covering the holes or anything and I have added a small thing because I have some holes here and we'll add some clearance around this so we don't have not, um, nubs doesn't get too close to this hole so let's start doing this step one i want to start by sketching with these small nubs or spikes and we're going to be start like uh, circles create a sketch on the top face here and i will project in um, i like to put uh, this starting circle somewhere in the middle so i can do symmetric patterns and stuff like that. i will project this edge and this edge up here like that hide the body for now we will do a line from find the midpoint l on the keyboard for line straight up to here turn off the line command i'm simply going to select everything and turn them into school construction geometry because i don't want the lines there do a simple circle uh, i'm going to find the midpoint of this line i think that was in a good place yes that's a good place it doesn't touch will not touch that hole because this is now too big so d for dimension these will be five New is to be, let's make them four, like that, that I like. Uh, so that's our little uh, sinner. We're going to extrude later. Uh, we're going to do, I'm going to do a hexagon pattern or triangle pattern. You can do it square, but I like to, if I can cover a face, uh, placing things in triangular shape makes it quite easy. So create a polygon somewhere out here. I'm going to tap over and type in three. So I get a equilateral triangle. Coincident constraint, one corner, no, sorry. Coincident constraint, one corner of a triangle to the center point of the circle. Turn it around slightly, add a horizontal constraint. I'm going to select all the lines and turn them into construction. So I don't obstruct the uh, profile of the circle. And I'm going to add a dimension. We need one parametric dimension. And we're going to add this to this triangle here. Let's call it uh, path. Oops, pattern distance. And um, we give it four. Can we do it six? Yes, yeah, little bit six millimeters apart. Can change that later. We have to redo some commands if we change things. But so let's do that to six millimeter spacing. Going to finish sketch. And as I said, I like to add some safety clearance around uh, these holes. So I don't cover. If I put a nut or a screw head or something here, but gets him away. So step one here, we're going to make an offset surface. Offset here. This is going to be the height of our nubs. Uh, if you want to make like spikes, you can make it quite high up. So you can make it quite low this time. I'm going to make it three millimeters up. I'm going to hide the solid body for now. I'm going to hide this sketch. I'm going to create a sketch on this surface body. V for project, project in the full body. We will now add the clearance distance. You can hide the surface body, make it a bit easier to see things. I'm going to use O for offset. Mm, select this circle, it is one millimeter. Let's go with that. O, we need to select the circles one by one. Yeah, it takes some clicking around on the screen. Uh, o for offset, offset, offset. This is just for the fun of it. Uh, we could also make offsets around these holes or other stuff like that, but it will not place uh, any cylinders above a cutout. But I only wanted to show you that you can add a clearance around the holes. Turn on the surface body, finish sketch, E for extrude, select our profile. Going to make it symmetric so it cuts through the surface body in all directions, two millimeters, change from new body to intersect and click OK. This will keep only the parts of the profile I selected of the surface body. If we turn on our soul solid body and hide the sketch, we can see that the surface body holes are slightly larger than the ones in the solid body. That's good. Let's hide the surface body. It makes things a bit easier to see. We can still select it in the browser. Turn on our sketch with the cylinder. Do an extrude distance to object select the surface body and hit OK. Yes, we can add a taper angle, but the taper angle will confuse the pattern. So we need to do the angle a bit later. 
I'm going to hit S on the keyboard and do a rectangular pattern. Do it on a feature, the last extrude feature we did. And the axis we're going to use are the two legs of the triangle here. And we're going to do uh, distribution. It's going to be spacing. And we're going to use our little parameter, pattern distance on both of them, pattern distance, like that. The important thing now is we have like the long direction here. So I'm going to like, I like to pattern all of the knobs in this direction and only two in this. If I change this to two, I get these two uh, like offset uh, lines here. Uh, one direction, no, we're going to make this symmetric. We're going to need something like 30 of these or even more. We are going to get a warning. We are using compute type adjust and we need to do that. Otherwise, this workflow will not work. So you cannot overdo this pattern because fusion will cry on you. So make sure that the pattern covers the full solid body. I like that. Compute type adjust. Hit OK. Wait for fusion to put up cylinders. And as you can see, it only puts cylinder where it can hit the surface body above. Second rectangle pattern. S on the keyboard, Eric, where are you? No, 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 sorry, that's wrong. S, rectangular pattern, there you are. Rectangular pattern of features, once again, the rectangular pattern we made earlier and include the extrude of a first cylinder or we will not get to be cylinders here. The axis in this case is just going to be straight over our little part. What is uh, still spacing? What is the spacing? The pace spacing is our pattern distance. Multiply by the square root of three. That is how you distribute a triangle pattern. So you do the pick the pattern, multiply it by square root of three and you get the distance. Once again, we're gonna do it symmetric. We're gonna look from the top so we can see how many patterns we need. You can see the patterns look a bit strange now. Do not be scared of that. Just simply start adding until we can see that we are covering. I don't think I need any more. Any, if we add one more, all of those are based outside. So I'm gonna reduce it to one. So that's gonna do. Still compute type adjust, hit OK. And now Fusion needs to do some thinking because it will now repeat the cylinder over and over, but it will also fail over and over where it doesn't hit the surface body. Gonna hide the sketch. And now you can see we have cylinder. If you turn around, we have these little small cylinders. The last thing, we want to turn this a bit spiky. So we're going to do SM keyboard and use the draft tool, draft. Select the top face here. Gonna look at the model from the front or back. It doesn't really matter, but look from the side so I can see all the. It's really easier to look from the side. That's much shorter distance. Why do I don't do that? I want to select the faces on the side of a cylinder here. So I'm starting to the right. I try to be make sure I can see all the cylinders. Start here and drag from right to left. That means I, it's enough that I touch the faces and they will be selected. And in this case, I have like a 15 degree. Of course, we can do this so they become like spikes. We do 30 degrees. We almost get a sharp spike. Let's say. But we only want, want small knobs. Let's do it 15 degrees. Hit OK. Wait for Fusion to think for a while. Only 281 faces to fix. So by doing that, we have now made cylinders. You can see it almost touches, but if it goes over the edge of a body, or in this case, the surface body, including the offset from these holes, there will not be any nubs. This is one way to make distributed patterns using a bit of a failure with infusion. And the last thing, I will right click and remove my surface body. It's not needed anymore. So this is how I would distribute nubs on the face of a solid like this hope it's useful for you take care see you around and goodbye